Hey there, EV jerks. How much does the ID4 use in terms of power consumption just in doing random stuff? Just got back from a three day vacation where I didn't drive my, my car, my Volkswagen ID4. Did not have it plugged in, had it at 80%. When I got back, it had dropped all the way down to 80%. It didn't drop at all. So I was curious while I'm sitting here waiting for my son to get out of his music lesson. What does it take if you're just sitting here doing absolutely nothing as far as energy consumption? Right now, nothing's on other than the screen. And you can see there it is at 0.3 kilowatt hours per hour of consumption. So what happens if I were to turn on climate control? Hmm. Let's turn this on. We have the AC on. Let's go ahead and turn that off and just have a little air blowing just a little bit of air blowing. What does it go do? Anything? It goes from 0.3 to... Uh, nothing, I guess. It didn't do a dang thing. Let's check out if we actually turn on the air conditioner. Boom. And what do we have it for? We have it set at... Let's just put it at 70 degrees. You can see it's 81 degrees outside right now. Oh, it's getting a little hot. And in terms of power consumption, now all of a sudden we went from 0.3 to 1.1 kilowatt hours per hour. Almost like 0.8-ish, roughly right there. What happens if I turn it up even higher and turn down the temperature? Let's just turn down the temperature first and see if that does anything. We're at like 1.1. It's on the lowest it can be, still 1.3. Let's see if we turn up the fan, if that does anything. Let's just go max and we'll keep it inside. What does that do? One point five, one point six. I would call that a result. One point seven, one point eight. Wow, we are really cooking up there. Let's go ahead and drop that down to a comfortable temperature. Very interesting result there. I've always wondered what it uses just by itself without energy consumption being lost to just travel, like what the car is actually meant for. 1.8 being the highest that it got to of kilowatt hours per hour. So you divide that, you know, this is make it two with a 77 kilowatt hour battery. You're looking at like 38.5 hours of just, if you're just sit there and just using it all by itself, obviously a little more because we have the 0.2 to play with. So. Let's just call it 40 hours. You can sit there for 40 hours with your AC on and then it'll drain your battery if you have it at 80%. Using, of course, a Volkswagen math. Different day, bear with me. Pretend like now it's super cold and we have the heater on. We have it at 77. And pretend like I want the seat warmer and the steering wheel warmer all the way up and we're at 77. What does that do? So it looks like 1.6, 1.7, it was kind of bouncing around for a bit, kind of similar to cooling. So whether you're heating your ID4 or you're cooling your ID4, it's roughly two kilowatt hours per hour that you're gonna be losing. So what does that equate to in terms of range? If we're looking at two kilowatt hours per hour of drive time and we're averaging three miles per kilowatt hour, that means that for every hour of driving, we're losing six miles of range. If we have the air conditioning on or trying to heat up our seats or have, have warm air blowing into the cabin. Now I am absolutely roasting my butthole off now. Let's go ahead and turn those off. Good Lord. So moral of this story, if you're out driving and it looks like your range is gonna be a little bit close and your wife is insistent on having the air conditioning on and you're like, hun, we're gonna be about 12 miles short that's a great time to mention to her, hey, if we run out of juice, if we run out of range, it's your fault. You're gonna be pushing, you're, you're outside pushing. Just have that argument ready to go in your back pocket. And here's the good news. If you got a sturdy woman, if you got yourself a woman built like a brick house, you can always put it into B mode. You can get a little regen braking going. She can push against that. And you can have a nice cool cabin while your hot hefty honey is 
pushing you to the next charging station. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. It actually satisfied my curiosity because I've been wanting to figure that out for a long time. Thanks for watching EV Jerks. Go ahead and gently tickle the undercarriage of that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I don't have an outro. So how about this?